Once read an excellent book by Rita Lizzi Testa, The Strange Death of Pagan Rome, Reflections on a Historiographical Controversy. While reading this book, I was always thinking, how come that pagan Rome all of a sudden turned Christian? Well, I use the um, sociological studies in Roman history, these are the dates and the numbers of Galileans up to 300 and 313 when Constantine created the religion of Christianity from a mashup of uh, Gnostic Hebrew sects and 300 of 14 or 13,000 bishops of his decided what is this religion exactly and everything else is a heresy. So, I try to conjure certain statistics that make it extremely easy to understand that this religion wasn't very popular or trendy. It was simply enforced by a royal imperial edict upon pagans. And that's why nobilitas of the Senate opposed it so dearly, because it was a religion of the mob. Now look at this. Based on this historical data and coupling it with the census of Rome, you have this at the Augustan time until the year AD 14. Then this around Marcus Aurelius, that is a population in uh, millions. And the rise of Christians, so in the 50s, We've got around 1,400 Christians, right? Up to the year 200, we've got maybe 200, 10,000 Christians. And then, all of a sudden, the rise to a million, then 6 million, and after this Constantine throw, 10 million, 32 million. There's something wrong about this, right? Well, why? Because people didn't become Christians all of a sudden. The imperial decree of that cretin that created the religion and forced people to believe in that bullshit. The strange death of pagan Rome, right? Thank you.